Watch the pint video. Black Mage is the highest damaging class in Final Fantasy. Well, but then just it's play also that. the most difficult. Its reputation is so insane that many high-end raiders are too scared to even try it. But not me. Black Mage is in my blood. It's actually quite a serious medical issue. And yeah, I would say me, so. You're not gonna last a second out there, buddy. But worry not, my friend. I will teach you everything. Leveling for a black mage is a rite of passage. It tests the limits of the pain you can take. Because if you can't handle this, then you won't survive a suboptimal ley lines. Either the pain, it breaks you. Is it really that or bad? You simply live with the pain. <laughs> because like whenever I would level, you would just go into the dungeon. You'd just spam dungeons over and over and over. And it's like, even if if you didn't do anything right, who cares? The, the dungeon still gets cleared, no problem. Uh, but always remember, kids, no matter how bad it gets, it always gets better at 50, 60, uh, 70. Um, now, yeah, eventually. Now, you think you're ready to level a black mage? Think again. You have to prepare your weak mind. And body. Steal yourselves with passion and fervor. Prepare for the hellish quest that lies before what you. What the fuck? My first class was a black mage. And it is true what they say. <laughs> big, no big mobility, damage, guys. An awful rotation. And worst of all. Yeah, there you go. Bad damage. But every class struggles with something. Ninja I think slide casting in Final Fantasy is one of the cooler things about the game. I, I like slide casting a lot. It it's like that extra level. It's kind of, it's almost like you're using the sluggishness of the combat system to make the combat system more interesting. It's almost like, I don't know, like I, I view it almost the same as like, I don't know, like wave dashing or something like that in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Where like you're using the way that the game shouldn't work to make the game even more difficult. Now, I think that's cool. Don't get AoE till level 38. Summoners yeah. kind of suck till till they get to like 80. I, I don't know. I don't play Summoner. They're like a fake mage class. Fuck Summoner. And yes. Yeah. Black mage might just be the worst class at low levels. But you have something that they don't. What's that? A giant hat. And yeah, a they future. Do. A destiny. A promise, if you will. A promise that you will become a god. I promise that you will become a being of pure <laughs> violence. Oh, Jesus. My, have I said too much. I mean, kinda. People keep telling me it gets better at level 50, and then at 60, and then at 70. Yeah, it's always the way it goes. Fun. Because I bet it probably doesn't even get good at max level either. Because, like, unless you're playing with, like, a consistent group. Because, like, I bet sometimes, like, if I played a black mage, this is what I would do. I would just stand in everything. I would just never stop casting. Because if it can't one-shot me, somebody should probably heal me afterwards. It'll be okay. And, and so then I would just not get healed. And I'd die. And I'd be like, oh, well, guys, it is what it is. Perhaps the most taxing thing about leveling a black mage is not the gameplay, but yeah. the constant reminders that 10 levels from now, it's going to be so much better. And you know what? It does get better. That's good. Like a hangover gets better if you keep drinking. <laughs> I don't know about that. Now, most jobs yeah, start I don't know out about quite that. simple. Get a bit more intricate as you uh -huh. level up, before at the high end becoming rather confusing. But black mage yes. kind of neglects that middle bit. Which means you sort of go from, oh, this is pish posh. This job is simply too easy. It's easy, yeah. <sighs> to some random point in the future where your once unbridled confidence has now turned into. Huh? Which can put a lot of people off oh as they level up. But I think the very point of Black Mage is to welcome that challenge. And you'd do well to remember that on your journey. Face the challenge head on. Savor that feeling of ignorance because you only get it once. I believe in you. Now go! I don't know if I'd ever want to play a black mage, actually. Like, to be honest, I really like tanking in Final Fantasy. That's what I enjoy the most. I, I actually think tanking is my favorite part of the game. And the reason why I like tanking so much is the fact that I can control what happens in the fight. And I can do a lot of damage. 
Like the classes that I want to play in Final Fantasy, I want to play a warrior, I'll maybe try out a paladin as well. That's about it. Yep, that's it. I want to I want to just be really really good at that one the the gunbreaker. That's it's that's dumb. Like how are you going to use a gun? It's that close. Like it's just dumb. Like it's it's dumb. Like how are you going to use a gun? He's right there. Just you don't need a gun. Just stab him. Like what do you mean like a gun gunbreaker? Like how are you going to use a gun? Is I just it's not my thing. Okay? It's just not my fucking thing. Maybe I'll try it out one day, but it's mainly Dark Knight and Warrior. Those are the two things that I like playing the most. Dark Knight is easily my favorite. I think it's fucking amazing. Hello. Hi. Is he buying a boost? And now you can finally <laughs> play enjoy the game. The clash. Until you drift off to sleep at night. And in your hazy nightmare, you queue up for a level synced duty. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Look at all of your shiny new abilities. You can't now, use now, them. Before you can start using that, you have to know your basics. Enochian. This is the beating heart of your class. It's a 15 second buff that you have to constantly refresh. Fuck. Because if the buff falls off, your most potent spells are disabled. You do 20% less damage. And, and I'm pretty sure you become infertile too. Jesus yeah, it's, Christ! I, I it's in the tooltips. Well, that doesn't sound so hard. Oh my God! It's not more. It's passive. Above. Really? Oh, oh well, you're right. The okay, difficulty that's of good. Enochian comes with the unexpected. Oh no! You just started a three-second cast with four seconds remaining on Enochian, and the boss is charging its ass clap at nine thousand right at you. Just stand it. It would take two point five seconds to refresh Enochian, but do you have time to finish just stand this in cast the attack. before the boss kills you, or do you just run now and waste all of your burst window? Just what stand do in the you attack. Do? Well, the answer should be to sacrifice your pride, take the DPS loss, and move out of the mechanic. No. Now we can refresh Enochian. No. And now for my second ass clap at 9,000. No. no. We didn't plan for a second one. What do we do? Yeah, Don't right. Move again. But then a note will that, surely dude. fall off, you imbecile. Don't you understand? All right, boys. Little old pint's got some bills to pay. And I love money. This is your last chance. Tell us where the greatest mobile game of all time is. I'll tell is you. Is this a I'll mafia game? Have you guys ever heard of Raid, Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah, maybe I have. Maybe I ain't. Oh Who's my asking? God. Well, I just thought fine gentlemen. Such oh as yourself, my God! Would really? Enjoy building teams of champions to take on challenges. Wait, what the fuck? Selves would enjoy building. Did she literally just pull out a gun and shoot teams this girl? Of cha champions to take on challenging <laughs> bosses, such as Cold Darth. Man, yeah, some like Indiana like Jones shit. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Hey boss, don't you Oh my spiders? god. And I haven't even started talking about the PvP yeah. arena. Where you can fight other players? Uh-huh. Hey boss, that does sound pretty cool. That's yeah, where the pay to win really fun. comes hey, in. Frankie, shut up. That's where you gotta well, buy those I'm crystals, guys. I'm always on the job. Use the indie scene? Yeah, that's no actually games. funny. Well, that's the best part. You can play it anywhere. Oh yeah, like Wage. Well, don't you guys have phones? I'm under contract to tell you my top five places to play raid. Holy crap. Number one, on the bus. Number two, in, jail. in the bathroom. Number three, at the movies. Ooh. Shh. Number four, walking home. Number five, in the trunk of a car. He's got to be lying. Oh my no god. No game can be that good. Oh my and god. Portable. Next, he'll be telling me it's available on PC too. It's available on PC too. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. See, I wish I... they did that with um. I wish they did that with Diablo Immortal. You could play Diablo Immortal on PC, and I know you can with like an emulator or like an adapter. But I just wish it was just a, a baseline. You could just play the game without having to need anything else, right? Because like I would play it and just see what it's like. Like it probably is gonna be like pretty like uh shallow, but I'd be curious. I can, I can give you a free champion. Bullshit. So Genshin blew up. Yeah. I swear. Just, it's huge. Just click the link in the description below. Or scan the QR Very code. Very important, I think. Been there the whole time. The package is worth thirty dollars. You'll get two hundred K silver, an energy refill, it's a lot of money, boost, an ancient shard, and a free champion. Aina, you'll find your rewards here. Aina, Aina, I ain't about to let you Aina out of these this. nuts. Alive. Then you leave me no choice. I'll have to end the ad. Wait, wait, no, no, no. See, the only way to truly master a okay. no is to master the very fight itself. 
You okay. Have to know exactly how much you can get away with. More than any other job. It's a Hades song. You're better than them. And it's only after you've mastered this that you can truly begin to use ley lines. Ley lines is the big dick damage cooldown of your class. Well, that's what matters. It makes you cast faster. Yeah, that's what matters. Just use that. Yeah, there you go. Of course, Jesus you have to Christ. 15% faster, but also, if you step out of this funny little circle, then Leylines is no longer active. And I mean, sure, you can walk back in. Oh, you know so what? it's like the arcane mage thing where you have to stand in the rune of power. Oh boy. Oh boy, yep. And so if something happens underneath your rune of power, do you get out of it? No. No, of course not. Why would you do that? Happens to naughty little black mages who walk more than they have to. Mm -hmm. Don't we? Truly the deadliest Mr. Beast challenge. Because only when it's perfect is when you have the knowledge of when you can sit in a circle for 30 seconds. And you do have to plan what you're gonna do. Your cast times are long. Your entire burst window can be shut down by just a poorly timed attack. It's a Jesus lot of pressure. Christ. The apex of perfection, down to every step you take. But with the biggest room for failure, and you will also fail. Have it's the ever-present threat. So it's like one of those classes where, like, you have a really, really high wind. Like, you have a very, very high ceiling, but you can fuck it up really easily. That, that that's basically what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what it I thought. It's black mage after black mage. And no matter how cracked you think you are because of your high pass or mythic boss kill, yeah, you course. will fail. But when everything comes together, it is ecstasy. And just like when you fail, when you succeed as black mage, you are just as responsible. And everyone around you knows it. Is it just showing him standing in debuffs? Oh shit! No way! He's doing it! His damage is so high! And every victory you earn is because of your skill. And your skill a little. Why would you do that? You, you were gonna die. I was helping. No, oh, no, we got no, gripped. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. You. Actually, yeah, I just realized. Yeah, so I can never play this class because people will just rescue me out of the out of the thing. Because you know that's what's gonna happen, right? Because I'll be doing it on stream and I'll get gripped right out of it, and people will be like, "Haha, funny." And like, if I actually get mad about it, people will be like, "Oh, why are you getting mad? It's just for fun." And so, yeah, I couldn't do it. Tell them no. No, I couldn't. My friend, meet the one part of the encounter you can never research or prepare for. Other players. Human error. Yep. From pulling you out of your ley lines because of mechanics. To placing down AoE effects on you. Or worse, inside your ley lines. <laughs> and even pulling mobs out of range, forcing oh. you to move. If there's a black mage in your raid group, no, allow me dude. to send this message on their behalf. Not that it's any of your business, but fuck you and fuck off. There it is. Leave me to my ley lines. Oh, the floor just cracked. I believe I might fall. Black mages tend to have a complicated relationship with their raid group. Black mage brings absolutely no utility. Except for big damage. You so it's just like Berserker in Lost Ark. Or, or Warrior in, like, Classic WoW. I guess warriors bring a, a few good things. Like, that's always been the class that I like playing. Like, it sounds bad, but I like being the class that can do the most damage, but brings nothing to the raid. Like, there's no reason for me to be there other than the fact that I can do big numbers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just do big numbers. That's it. Bring the reses that a red mage can bring, or the defensives and mobility of a machinist. But being a selfish class is... Nothing new. It's Look at fun. all those reapers and samurais. What do they have to offer? They do everything you can do, but they, they can are move. easy to play. Yeah, they can move. But it's not because they're evil. They just simply don't understand your struggle. Black Mage has weaknesses and strengths that no other class has. It's a deeply personal experience. An inner conflict, unique to you and you alone. 
Being the hardest class with such a unique flaw can leave you behind your peers. Especially since, if you're not very good at Black Mage, they'll probably resent you for it. Who the fuck are you? I'm a red mage. <laughs> Who? A, a red mage. Asked. <laughs> Aww. Laugh all you want, but you're wrong. Aww. You expect everyone to play around you. Oh, heal us. Heal me. Oh, I actually think red mage is one of the coolest classes in, in Final Fantasy. It's one of the coolest classes in, like, just in an MMO, in my opinion. Like, I, I love the uh, the aesthetic of it, right? Where you're, like, this, like, really cool-looking, like, fucking duelist or fencer. And, like, you can also cast spells. You can jump around. Like, you can heal people. Red Mage has, like... It's almost like... You know what I said about how warlocks are, like... They're, like, in the next expansion every time. Like, because warlocks have so many abilities. Like, in TBC, for example, like, they can summon. They have pets. They can do range damage. Uh, they can fucking CC. They can do anything that they want. And, like, that's the way I feel like with Red Mage. Is like, if I'm playing Red Mage, I can do anything I want to do. That's it. P.S. Stay away from yeah, me. Yeah, life tap. Yeah. I am sick of it. Playing Black Mage optimally is a team effort. Everyone has to do their job and get along. Bossing people around isn't the way to do it. You're the one deciding to play Black Mage, so it's your responsibility. And nope. if you're not ready for that, maybe you should try 10,000 hours of Red Mage instead. Wait, no, no, no. That's right, bitch. This is my show now. Red Mage has everything. A simple rotation, See? but it's incredibly fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's scouting time. The only DPS with a heal. Exactly. Unlimited instant And they can res. Reses. Oh, you're raid They members. can res at level 64, guys. That's whenever you get Vare Rays. You don't get it at level 50. So whenever we had a Red Mage in a group, for coils, and we did Alexander after that, and people were spamming red mage res. They couldn't res. You thought they could res, but they couldn't res. It doesn't matter how many times you type it in chat, it still didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it didn't work. Does me can't wait. Summoners? I think Summoners gets res at 60, right? Doesn't Summoner get res at 60? Uh, am I right about that or not? Cocked by level? No, level 18? Wait, what the fuck? They get it early? Damn, I thought they got it way later on. Oh my god. We'll love you. My That's utility crazy. has saved countless raids. The damage is lower than Black Mage, but it's still one of the highest in the game. And Black Mage is so difficult, it's actually detrimental to the group. And because of that, it's arguably a bad class. I don't mean to tell you what to play. But if your goal is to have fun and be successful, you don't have to go through all the trouble, all the pain, and all the anguish of a suboptimal ley line. Yeah, you don't want to do that. When you could simply play a red mage. Exactly. Not someone a fuck someone as. You should just play a tank like That's a real man. Pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, you play a tank like a real man. Let's be Go honest. Ahead. Play whatever you want. No. What's the point in being the top class if I can't even play it well? No one would turn away a good player in favor of a bad player just based on their class. No. That's not true. That's not true at all. Uh, because pe people don't know that. Like, they don't know if you're bad or not. Yeah, you have no idea if they're bad or not. Not in Final Fantasy. Here's the way I, I judge things, right? Is it like, I don't really care what people play. Because in Final Fantasy, like at least a lot of the raids that I'm doing now. Like, we're not doing any like high level savage fight or like an ultimate raid. Like, it doesn't really matter what class somebody's playing. If we wipe, it's because people did the thing wrong. Just do the thing right, and we're not going to wipe. Quit doing the thing wrong. And, and, and that's all it is. Yeah, it's all about mechanics. That's all there is to it. Nobody would do that, so why do I bother? I could get good at a different class. I could oh, play the pokey something boy. easier. I fell in love with Black Mage the day I first saw it, but it is the lowest played caster for a reason. I guess sometimes you just have to know when to throw in the towel. It's the way it goes. And you have to know when to pick it back up. You're back. Of course I am. I am a black mage after all. Sure, it's not the easiest. Sure, you might quit from time to time. Yeah. But as they say, 
Failure is not the falling down, it's the staying down. You might take a break, you might switch things up, but as long as you keep coming back, that's what counts. But yeah. why? <laughs> why do anything difficult? The thrill of accomplishment. Ooh, the joy of overcoming an obstacle and saying, I did it. I won. Fuck that game. I have mastered this thing I set out to that do. Game hurt because my wrist. as you prove that you can climb these mountains that you set for yourself, you prove to yourself that you're capable, that you matter, and that maybe next time you think to yourself, I can do this. Yeah. It's worth listening to. And that, my friend, Aww. makes this world a much less scary place. This Whether is a good video. Holy shit. 10, that is what it means to be a black mage. What's up, my little gobbly goos? I'm going to be playing <laughs> Shadowbringers on Twitch. So if you're interested, follow me there. Also, I won't cry. I, I, I don't cry. Okay, all right. That was actually pretty good. You know, like, I, I thought, like, the, yeah, the ending was, like, really good. Is it, yeah, it was a wholesome ending. Like, I was expecting, like, whenever I think of, like, somebody playing Black Mage, like, the, the aesthetic that I have in my mind is somebody that plays like me, who literally, like, they're playing with the damage meters, and, like, they're looking at their number. Like, if you had an eye tracker, it's not even at the screen. They're just looking at the DPS meter, hitting the buttons as much as they can, standing in DPS, and then eventually they'll get killed, and they're like, oh, well, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's all there is. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's all there is to it. It's easy. It honestly, it's a bit like that. Yeah, that's what I used to do as a warrior. It was great. I would literally, like, Berserker Stance used to give you rage whenever you would take damage. I would literally stand in damage. I would taunt the boss. Taunt the boss in the middle of the fucking raid, just so it would hit me once, and then the raid would freak out. They'd taunt it back just so it would hit me once while I was in Berserker stance and I could get full rage again. Stand in the fire, DPS higher. It's literally that simple. They're just bad at the game? Really? Then why was my parse so high? If I was bad at the game, why is my, why is my parse so high if I'm bad? Yeah, think about that, huh? Ever thought about that? Yeah, that's right. That's the way I used to do shit. Yeah, a touch of karma monks, exactly. As long as you're alive and clearing content, you're doing your job right? Well, I mean, uh, the second part, yeah, usually that's what I would do. Yeah, but did you die? Sometimes, yeah, I would die. Um, like, I would have, like, there would be times... Man, I'm telling you guys, like, I would get killed on purpose sometimes. Because I would be having a bad pull, and I didn't want the bad pull to show up in Warcraft logs because it would just make me look bad. So I would kill, I would kill myself in the game. I, I would just get myself killed. And I would be like, oh, guys, I can't take the res. Cause like, I didn't want to have like a bad pull on my on my record, you know what I mean? Uh, Alex, thank you very much for the five good subs. And I would wipe the raid even to get a parse. I would. They can wipe all week. I get one time a week to parse. I only have one shot at this. Uh, like, of course we're gonna wipe it up. Yeah, well, I want to try it again. Like we we had a it was a weird pull, right? I messed something up. Yeah, you wipe all day. You only get one chance to parse, man. That's it. Jesus, the most toxic player. As I said, there was a reason why. The top DPS, highest parsing Fury Warrior with the highest item level in the entire server quit raiding and nobody in the raid was, was mad about it. <gasps> nobody was upset. They're like, oh, Asmund's not going to show up again? Okay. Wow, all right. Okay, us. That's a, that certainly changes a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's see the logs, dog. You got, you want to see my logs? Okay, give me a second. I'm always surprised that people don't believe me. We'll look at maybe Mr. Pandaria. I don't know if I have a lot of good parses in Mr. Pandaria. Uh, that's only one. Okay, there's no good ones there. Let's look at Wad. Uh, so there's Hellfire Citadel. It's a decent, decent enough. How about that? It's doing okay. And, and then we go down to BRF. Uh, you know, another pretty decent one. And uh, then I got a little bit better in Legion uh, and Taurus. I didn't raid in an Taurus. And uh, that, there, there you go. So I, I used to play a lot, and I would uh, wipe the raid if I needed to. If I needed to wipe the raid, I would do what I needed to do. Pog, old Asmogold. Yeah, and then I started, uh, I started streaming all the time, and I got distracted. Yeah, that's what it was. It wasn't lying. No, I'm not making this shit up. I used to... Like, I, I used to be really good. Like, yeah, absolutely. And, like, the thing is, 
if you know anything about parsing, you know that like this wasn't really that hard to do, right? You just had to play the game like a degenerate. That's the same as every other parse. Like every parse that you see at the top of like the leaderboards, it's like, yeah, you had to be decent at the game to do this, but a lot of it was planning. A lot of it was planning and doing a few things that you shouldn't do, right? That's all there is to it. Frame that, put that up on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I'll put that on a VHS tape so I can pull it out every once in a while, okay?